Hey guys, what's up? This is Behind Relationship Goals. I'm Tito Fofo. And I'm Tita Bones. And before we even start this podcast, Bonizi and I are indulging ourselves in the new and improved Vitasoy. Oh, yes, I have the chocolate over here and Fofo has cafe latte. Cheers! And as you guys also listen, we want to invite all of you to come and drink Vitasoy with us as you listen to this episode. And now we begin the podcast. The topic for this episode is... Tumatanda na kami. We are oldies, Megan Old, oh, not Megan Old. Old. Oh my God, iba na. Ikaw na si Mikael Old. Okay, and we are starting this with a mic drop because a couple of days ago, Bonizi and I did our routine blood test. So mm. we try to get blood tests every three months or on a regular time period over the year. And Bonizi was completely healthy. Woohoo! However, Popo was not. <laughs> <laughs> Mataas po ang aking LDL levels, ang aking cholesterol. Oh my gosh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Fofo, bakit daw mataas ang cholesterol mo? I have no idea, guys. This is a shocker. Um, I was super sad before I even get to it. I was honestly super duper sad. Simply because I take pride in being able to take care of myself mm-hmm. and being healthy. And you see this in my uh, social media, yeah. in my content, when you see me. And when we talk, I always, I'm such a huge advocate of being healthy. But just because that's the person that I am, it doesn't mean that it always translates into a healthy body. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. Because when we were telling our friends about, you know, your cholesterol and all that, a lot of them were shocked na, my God, bakit ganyan? Ba- ano na pa healthy mo? Paano na- nagawa yan? Yeah, we saw Leanne Valentin last night and kwenento namin sa kanya. Uh-huh. Si Fofo, mataas yung cholesterol. She was like, what? Why? Wow. And then everyone's thinking, bakit dapat si Bones yata yung mataas yung cholesterol? Hindi ikaw. <laughs> because I am, well, if there's gonna be a healthier person in the relationship, it's Fofo talaga. So Or a person who healthy. sounds healthier. Yeah. Or seems healthier. Yeah, but I mean, That's the reality of it. Hindi na tayo nasa 20s. Yeah. Di ba? Mag, magpa-40 ka na fofo in a couple of years. Mm-hmm. Aminin na natin, tumatanda na talaga tayo. So, yeah. And just to get into the specifics of it. So, my cholesterol levels, my HDL levels are good. So, they're within the average. Okay. But my LDL levels are way, not naman way above average, but above average. And at mm-hmm. this point, the doctor told me that, okay, maagapan pa natin to. So, we'll test again in three months. Mm-hmm. But from this point to the next test, I need to be able to clean up my diet. Oh, oh. So, Tsaka, nalaman mo rin, nasa pamilya mo rin na mataas cholesterol. Oh, oh. So, I started talking to my siblings and my relatives and I called them. I was like, guys, may high cholesterol ako. <laughs> and I started asking around kung if it runs in the family. And apparently, it does. <laughs> so, that means that I guess, to a certain extent, my bloodline doesn't process cholesterol very well. Yeah, I mean... These are things that we find out as we get older. Buti na lang habang bata pa tayo, maaga pa na natin. So we're preventing yeah. it from getting worse and we're really taking care of ourselves now. So sino ang nakaka-relate dyan? Please put it in the comment section. Thank God, sabi ng doctor, hindi ko pa kailangan mag-maintenance pills. That would make me like double, triple, quadruple sad. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, there are a lot of ways on how we can, you know, take care of ourselves. Actually, One thing that I was really happy about, because since we have Vitasoy anyways with us, when you look at the back, you can see here the saturated fat and trans fat. And our doctor said, that's the things that you avoid for eating. And here, maliit lang yung percentage niya. Hindi naman talaga totally maiiwasan, di ba? Kasi meron pa rin yan sa lahat ng pagkain. But we just have to make sure na in moderation at babawasan natin yung mga ganong bagay. Yeah, and Bones, I used getting back to that. So we tried to game plan right after. So this happened like two, three days ago. Mm-hmm. Right after we game planned, okay, paano natin aagapan to? What changes am I going to make? Yeah. Kasi, sa totoo lang, I am super duper quote unquote healthy. Yeah. So I work out a lot. I try to sleep well. Um, I eat very, very well. You eat healthier than but, I do. But, let's say I eat 80% of my food is very healthy. Yeah. 20% is whatever I want. Super junk. And what, not that many, even super junk, but definitely food that isn't healthy, food that's high processed. in saturated fat, food that's processed. Mm. So I eat a lot of that. And the doctor told me that 
just because 80% of my diet is healthy doesn't mean na babawi yung 20% na hindi. Yeah. Lalo na para sa akin na my body doesn't process this very well. I'm predisposed to having high cholesterol mm-hmm. and high LDL levels. So para sa akin, it's just a huge shift, which is okay naman with me. I just didn't know na ganun pala nag-work yun. Hindi, tsaka sa relationship natin, Fofo, ikaw talaga yung ma-order. Alam mo yung parang, yeah, yeah. parang, um, yung mga merienda, mag-order siya ng halo-halo, or merienda, mag-order siya ng mga bibingka. So yun, <laughs> siya yung pala order talaga. And minsan, kahit natapos na ako kumain, he'll be like, Bones, anong gusto mong kainin? Parang, Tapos na ako kumain. Girl dinner. Girl dinner. And then Fofo wants a full meal. Yeah, I do want to explain parang the mindset now that you're making that cuento. Because I'm the quote-unquote healthier person in this relationship, I I work out harder, yeah. I eat cleaner when we're eating clean, mm-hmm. nagkakaroon ako ng mindset na pwede ako mag-order anytime. Oo, oh, oo Parang akala mo, okay na. Oo, oh, oh, like, uy, I worked out today. I ate 80% of my food that was super clean and super healthy. So yung 20%, oh, kahit ano, halo-halo, the serve ko yan. Pero anything in excess, but syempre, it just doesn't it's work bad. that way. It's yeah, it just doesn't, and it just doesn't work for me, lalo na, because I, like I said, I'm predisposed yeah. to having higher cholesterol <laughs> levels than others. No. Why no? Why Bakit? No? Uh, explain. Why? Wala. Why were you sad? Parang nas- nasad lang ako kasi I see how hard you work. Parang... If we didn't do the blood test, would we have known na ganito? Parang no. yun lang naiisip ko. And for yeah. for ano, for on a regular basis, parang is this something that people really think about? Kasi naisip lang natin na magpa-blood test more often para ma-check natin yung health natin. But is that a usual thing ba? Yeah, well the only reason I was asking you about that is because yes, I felt sad in the moment that I saw it, but now I'm not sad at all. Yeah, cuz you know how to take care of yourself. Yeah, now. yeah, it's not a big deal. Like I think some people might feel bad, like maybe if I tell my siblings they'll feel bad na, "Oh, you can't eat this, you can't eat that." And para sa akin, it's not really that big of a deal. Yeah. It's what my life has thrown at me and parang para sa akin, there's not one thing that you can take away in my life na parang Oh my God, guguho na ang mundo because I can't have this. Mm-mm. Guguho na ang mundo kasi hindi yung makakapaghalo-halo. If you suddenly tell me I can't have halo-halo forever, okay. Diba? There are many other things that I can explore, yeah. that I can enjoy that doesn't involve halo-halo. And you know what? Where You know where I got that? I guess before pa I had that attitude, but it was ingrained in me a lot more just recently. Oh, why? The late, great Mike Enriquez, rest in peace, he was apparently very sick for a very long mm-hmm. time. I don't know if you've heard this, but he had this quote. And when he found out that he got sick, he said, I just took it. Oh yeah, wala I remember akong, that. I don't think I just took it a lot. Because if you don't take it, you just take it as much as you can. And he mentioned that that allowed him to live a relatively happy life, pa rin, even though he went through the last few years of his life. You know, struggling with, yeah. a, with a sickness, struggling, struggling with health issues. Yes. So, para sa akin, I have this, high cholesterol. I'm like, tanggapin ko lang, it's okay. Yeah. I mean, there are going to be changes. Changes can be difficult. Mm-hmm. But, not a problem, guys. Come on. <laughs> diba? yeah, Life I lo- is I love beautiful. That mindset. So, I love that mindset. That's something that I wanted to share with you. I think kasi a lot of people... And that's why I didn't... I wasn't like... I was like, yeah. no, mom, it's cool. I mean, no, we're, we're, we're chill. But I feel like kasi you always want what you don't have. Diba? That They always say that na parang if you have long hair, you want short hair. If yeah. you have short hair, you want long hair. It's something to that degree. But you always want what you don't have. And I feel like when something is stripped away from you, like all so suddenly, parang you're like, in a way, parang FOMO, na parang, ah, I can't yeah. have this anymore. Like, what's my life gonna be? It's a freaky moment, especially it if is. you don't have that mindset na parang, it's okay, life goes on. And especially if it's something that you've been so used to. What if you eat, let's say, fruits on a daily basis and you eat so many fruits on a daily basis. And then suddenly you suddenly can't Suddenly you fruit. can't dahil mataas ang sugar mo or like, meron kang kailangan bawasan. Parang it's something that is initially very hard to go through. And I can understand how that kind of mindset is really, really difficult for some. Yeah, I think you're speaking to a greater audience yeah, now. And I yeah. think parang the normal or the, reg- the average or more regular reaction mm-hmm. would be to feel very down and feel like 
something was stripped out of your yeah. life. Yeah. And I guess that's kind of why I wanted to talk about this yeah. also. Because it doesn't always have to be that way. Of course, it helps that you have a nice, uh, very strong support system that will support you through it. Mm -hmm. And I guess remind you, because uh, there will always be good days. But I think inevitably, there will be down days. Maybe I'll feel a bit down. I'll yeah. feel a bit sad. And that's where Bonizi, Saba, and Chia <laughs> come in to help cheer me up and remind me that, dude, life is still good. There's still so many, 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 many other things to look forward to. And with that, I actually want to dive into how my experience is very similar to what a lot of other people experience that are very close to us. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. We actually had some family that uh, did their own round of tests and they did their own round of checkups. But, syempre, yung mga ganyang bagay, hindi na pag-uusapan minsan. Mm -mm. And they actually only told us that they had high cholesterol when we mentioned that hey balita lang namin na si Fofo nag blood test may high cholesterol pala siya and then para for them they were like ay okay kami re, we're part of the team na okay it was fine. okay gets gets we all have high cholesterol pero when Boniz and I were talking about it we also realized na wow they didn't tell us they've actually known this for a while mm -hmm. but they didn't even tell us and i guess that's the point we wanted to drive home na I guess for other people, um, it's not a topic that they can easily bring up yeah. and talk about. But the thing is... Also, are they really obligated to tell us anyways? Oh no, so th the reason why is okay. that because siempre, the only reason is because it would be nice to be able to talk about and open up health issues with family without mm -mm. feeling scared. Or feeling judged. Yeah, or judged. Because siempre, yung family mo yung support system. Mo. Yeah. Ako, I would, they will I would be like the ones... Be yes. I would like to be honest about anything that I'm feeling. Yeah. So if anything happens, then we know how to take care of you. We yeah. know how to support you. So yun lang. But of course, it goes both ways. I think we were just sharing stories that give an example of how different people mm -hmm. react to many different yeah. things. And of course, these are just stories. There's no one right way mm. to deal with these issues. But from our experiences, I wanted to share it with you guys in hopes that you guys gain something out of it. Put it in the comment section if you guys learned anything or have a story to share as well. Na I ko din, it's not easy for some people to share because of the judgment na makukuha For nila. sure. And parang when they're trying to look for support, parang how can I get support kung feeling ko na pagkwenento ko yung mga health issues ko or yung mga pinagdadaanan ko sa buhay, i-judge lang pala ako. So it's not as easy then for other people. Yeah, and I guess I just want to share that brings us to our household again. So, hindi lang kami yung nagpa blood test. Si Kuya Roland and si Mama Cell yeah. ay nagpa blood test rin. And we're all in the same darn boat. <laughs> Lahat kami mataas yung cholesterol. <laughs> Except for Bonizi. <laughs> Except for Bonizi. Pero yun lang, it was very interesting seeing the reaction. Yeah. So, si Kuya Roland, syempre, he was very sad and very mm -hmm. confused. Si Cell also, parang. At first, she was like, Bakit? Bakit? Kasi okay naman ako kumain. And, and Cell eats exactly what we eat. Yeah. Diba? She eats a lot of vegetables, fish, rice. Here at home, sobrang healthy talaga namin kumain. At pag pumupunta din si Kuya Roland dito, pag may work tayo, yun din yung kinakain niya. Yeah, of course, there are times kasi when Cell and Roland are just like me, they eat, also eat ano, whatever they, indulge. they want. They, they indulge. indulge themselves. And I think, I think dun sila na oh, nate technical. Sabi nga ni Kuya Ro, ah, kala ko okay na ako kasi nung Sunday nagpakulo ako ng buto-buto. <laughs> <laughs> na excited pa siya. But then he's like, pero hindi na pala pwede yun. So, ayun, may mga realizations din siya pagdating sa food tsaka sa health. Niya. Yeah, and I think when we were explaining the kind of changes we might need to go through in terms of our diet, ano yung pwede, ano yung hindi na pwede, mm -hmm. mas lalo pa silang nalungkot or parang they were thinking, grabe, ang laki naman ng changes nito sa buhay yeah. ko. Or mawawala yung mga iba, iba't ibang bagay na na-enjoy ko sa buhay. Yeah. And then we were there, yun nga, kami yung support system nila. We were there to remind them that we will look for other things that we can enjoy yeah. together and on your own. Siyempre, gusto natin na uh, yung work, work zone natin, at siyempre, sa bahay din natin, healthy tayong lahat. So we're here to really support each other as a couple. We're here to support Kuya Roland and Sel bilang parang sila yung tumutulong sa atin, mm -hmm. sa buhay natin at sa trabaho natin. And I guess, Bonizi, the point that I would like to drive home to kind of encapsulate this initial topic mm -hmm. of the podcast is that overall wellness is way more important than just physical and superficial oh, oh. wellness. Mo, because I don't look like 
obese or anything, yeah. right? I'm not like overweight. However, I had these complications yeah. and these concerns when I took my blood test. So I think this is a call out to everyone, lalo na yung mga nagiging, health buff. Yung mga 30s dyan, <laughs> akala nyo super healthy. We should still go through the important practices of having your routine checkups, checkup. your routine checkups, your routine blood tests. As we get older, maybe as we hit our 40s, Bonizi, mm. there are going to be more checkups and tests that we routinely have to do. Yeah. So this is a reminder to you guys so that we get ahead of it before it becomes worse or it becomes more serious. Oh, hindi lang yan puro abs, abs, tsaka pamacho. <laughs> Kailangan healthy din tayo. Patingin nga. Wala. <laughs> I try, pero wala and before we continue, I want to remind everybody that trying something new can be good for you too. When we first tried Vitasoy, a plant-based milk, we were hesitant at first. Pero grabe, we ended up loving it so much that its taste is surprisingly good. Plus, it's cholesterol-free just like what we said kanina and fortified with vitamins B2, B12, and D. Kaya talagang surprisingly good. good. Now is the best time to try it out dahil mas pinasarap at mas pinasustansya na rin ang Vitasoy Chocolate and Cafe Latte. Alright, now we're back to more talks about being a tito and tita in life because we are in our 30s. Uh, I'm 33 or 35, Fofo. We're turning 34 and 36 mm -hmm. so next year. So, four, Chia is turning two? Yeah. Or turning two. Turning two, turning two. So, we're all growing old together. But I realize now na mas marami pang pressure lalo sa atin ang magka-baby. Because, sabi nga nila, diba, parang for women, your biological clock, parang mahirap na pag 35 ka na. So, parang every time that we see family, especially family, they're like, ano, kailan ka magkaka-baby? And then all your other cousins are having kids and we're just like carrying them. So, even more, parang napapush talaga tayo na, ano, kailan ba talaga? So, parang how do you feel now again? Like, we're talking about babies, we're getting older, another year has passed, tapos wala pa rin tayong anak. Um, I'm chill. I mean, we've discussed this in two podcasts already mm. and... My mindset and views about this hasn't really changed. Mm -hmm. um, I'm okay with a baby right now. I'm also okay, okay with us as is, not having a baby and having these two for mm. babies. So I'm not that, I don't feel a lot of pressure to be honest. And okay. even though I'm asked, I happily answer. Yeah. Like when I'm asked, I'm never annoyed. Like, yeah. It's never become an annoying question for me to answer. So when people see me and they say, hey, sorry, just to ask, I don't want to be parang rude or anything, yeah. but when are you going to have a baby? And I'm like, no, it's okay. We can discuss. And then we talk about it. Although I think you have a different experience. So yeah. what's yours? I have a different experience because obviously I am the baby carrier in the relationship. So iba pa rin yung, I guess parang people tend to put more pressure on what they're saying to me because they're like, oh, you have a biological clock that you need to like um, really look after. So hindi naman ako na annoy. I don't get inis when people tell me. But the thing is, I've heard it over and over again na parang memorize ko na yung sasabihin nila. So for us, and especially for me, I am ready anytime. For sure. If we have a baby right now also. Okay. Tara. <laughs> well, <laughs> anytime that, you know, I get pregnant, I, I would be happy to have a kid right now. And I'm sure Soba and Chia would be just as excited. But the thing is, if ever, hindi pa talaga dumating, okay lang din naman sa akin. But for all those other ladies out there that are probably around my age or have just gotten married and you guys have been bugged about this question, I actually realized na parang the more that I try to explain parang our situation, the more na hindi, kasi dapat ngayon na, parang gagatuman The more people try kanina. to impose their opinions on you. Yes. So for me, the parang the concise way of answering, and this is an answer that I truly believe in, and it just encapsulates my mindset. In nahanap God, mo lang recently. Nahanap ko lang recently. The answer is, in God's perfect time. And I think there's no better way to explain it. Because for us, we're really just waiting for that moment if it does come. Diba? And to your benefit, walang masabi yung mga tao dun sa sagot mong yan. Pero totoo naman, diba? Like, if it's a blessing that we are given, then I would gladly take that and, you know, bring this baby into this world. Basically, what Bonizi is saying is she found the perfect defense to people who are asking her, kailan kayo magkaka-baby? <laughs> Hindi, tsaka at least it's an honest answer, diba? Yeah, no, the perfect defense because it's honest, it's yeah. simple, it's difficult to 
respond to. Yeah, because that's all that we're waiting for, lang naman, de ba? So perfect defense activated. Yeah. So wakin na kami tanong nature. Oh, you can ask me. Don't ask me. <laughs> And since we're getting older, may ibalik natin dun sa tumatanda na tayo. Since we're getting older, there are a lot of changes, di ba? Change is always constant. And I feel that Bonizi and Fofo in 2011, when we first dated, wala na sila. Oh yeah. <laughs> Walang wala na Buried sila. Buried like a hundred feet under the ground. We are completely different people from who we were 13 years ago. I- <laughs> I can't even begin to describe yeah. who Fofo is now from before and yeah. for the same as me as well. Um, but aside from that, we did have our stage when it was all like lovey-dovey and parang it's you and me against the world. Wala tayong pakialam sa iba. Wala naman tayong kaaway. But it, we were just really in our own little world. But as we grew older, mas nagkaroon tayo ng responsibilities for ourselves, for each other. Uh, for our household, because, siempre, you know, we're managing our lives now and, and other people's lives and other people's lives. And before, it used to just be, oh, tara, date tayo, and then we'll just do our own thing. But now we are a team. But that also means na mas marami din tayong arguments, mas madami tayong discussions, maybe mas heated kumpara sa dati. <laughs> <laughs> so, I guess it's something that I'd like to dabble on is as we grew older, we are definitely, I wouldn't say butting heads a lot more. Feistier. Fighting. Angry. Fighting. Ibang fighting yun. Ay, iba ba yun? Iba ba yun? Iba ba yun? But how do you feel about that, Fofo, na parang ngayon mas madami tayong away as a couple? I mean, I don't see it as a bad thing. But Ikaw, how do you feel? Um, I don't see it as a bad thing. I see it as growing because we take on problems as a team. Mm. But because we still are separate individuals, our takes are still very, very different. Oh, yeah. So we butt heads because we're also so open to one another. We have to get this out of the way. Let's get past this issue as soon as we can because the other side is going to be better. Yeah. So para sa atin, we just took out all the excess fat. Uh-oh. In terms of processing things. So, obviously, there are always going to be challenges and obstacles in life. We take it as a team. But given the reality, we're separate individuals. We have to figure out what are the differences when we encounter this obstacle. Let's take it away. Let's argue now and figure mm-hmm. it out. Mm-hmm. And you say argue. I say looking for a solution. Semantics. Yeah. But the point is definitely there's a lot of fight and feistiness because we're trying to get over obstacles much quicker nowadays Mm -mm. than we were before. And the obstacles now carry much more weight. We take care of so many more people nowadays. Two two, uh, lovely poodles. We have Kui Roland and Sel and Ronald and then our team members now. And then of course, we have the people whom we work with, the people whom we love, and then we have more friends. So it's all these things just making things matter more. Yeah. And yeah. when things matter more, you're just more passionate. And when you're more passionate, there's just so much more energy in the things that you say and that can come out as being feisty. And if that is so, then bring it on. Yeah. I, I, just to give like an example, Fofo and I were working on our content together and we butted heads with, yeah. with this, when this happened. So I am mostly a no type of person. I always say no ahead of, you know, understanding a situation. So when we were trying to like figure out what to do with our content, he threw out an idea and I said no. But then I didn't give an explanation. Tapos si Fofo biglang, his ears were on fire. And he was like... Which one was this? This is when we were talking about like the, the ratings for the one star versus five star. Gotcha, gotcha. So he was like, no, a God. And then he really challenged me during this time. And he's like, okay, if you're going to say no, I'm going to challenge your no. But the thing is, it was something so simple. Na parang he got triggered and then I got triggered by his reaction. And then we just kept adding on to each other. And a simple conversation actually blew up into a really big fight. But honestly, we both took it there. We both took it there in that moment. And I feel like because we are changing and we're evolving, there are times na, although I don't want us to go to that extreme, I feel like 
okay, this was a moment that I had to realize that, okay, I need to take a step back and like assess the situation. Maybe don't say no right away. Maybe figure out what needs to be done. And if ever you have a reaction like that, parang, okay, me as an individual, how should I react to Fofo getting angry? How should you react to me getting angry? Yeah. I have no problems with that. <laughs> no, also because, also so, because so, you're the type of okay, person. I'm, and I'm very clearly coming from a place of good intentions. Yes, always. So parang for me, it's about nipping the simple things in the bud before mm. they grow into a bad habit. Of course. And that's always something that we both agreed on, that we want to call each other out. Para hindi nga maging... Um, para hindi nga siya maging habit na lagi nangyayari and yeah. turns something bigger and I guess that's just why we reacted in that in such a way and I guess at that point you weren't super ready to hear something like that yeah but the thing is I'm always gonna dish it out a hundred and ten percent a hundred and ten thousand percent this is a moment when you were honest with me completely honest and I wasn't ready to accept the honesty yeah and we so, always share that that just because honesty is the foundation of our relationship doesn't mean it's always like a bed of roses. Yeah, and it's not always easy, talaga. And I feel like at that moment, I was <laughs> and Bonizi struggling. was not ready to receive no, the honesty, and that kind of like ticked me off a bit more. And I yeah. was like, "How dare you, woman?" I was triggered. <laughs> How dare you, man? <laughs> I was triggered. You were triggered. We were all triggered. So it was a very intense moment for us, but. Even though we had that situation, looking, <laughs> looking back at that, I just to avoid that. But at the same time, it was a big learning experience for me so that I don't have to do that again. Hey, distort your head when you're doing that. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Anyways. It's Saba's fault. And before we end the podcast, since your birthday is only a couple of months away, and mine is as well, kasi Jan Feb tayo. Layu pa naman, pero continue. I want to hear where this is going. I wanted to talk about how we don't celebrate our birthday and events like this because I realized na, actually, you know what? Every day is a celebration for us. But this time around, I actually do want to celebrate my birthday. I realized na parang, I want to put aside a special day and have a nice dinner with you or like parang a staycation and just I want to have a multi-million peso dinner. No sana kidding. May pera ka. <laughs> may pera ka sana para dun. But I really want no, I to celebrate this day in a special way with you instead of just parang ah, chill lang tayo. Parang I want to make it different this, this time around. Well, we can celebrate it next week and fly somewhere. That won't count as your birthday. What? <laughs> yeah, I want it to be like closer to the date. Okay, okay. Well, I'm, I'm open. I'm chill. I'm chill about these things nowadays. Yeah, so. so don't worry. I will be the one to plan it. And I was just throwing it out there because I don't mind not celebrating because, you know, I mean, life is as it is and we enjoy our time together. But I figured, why not this time around do something different? That's true. And things have changed a lot for me and Bonizi. I think the friendships that we've made over the past few years have grown mm -hmm. i think the people whom we take care of have also grown and the people whom we relate with and have very uh high importance in our life yeah. so it would be nice to be able to celebrate with them celebrate I think, our life with them yeah yeah and i think um during our 20s and early 30s for me, mm -hmm. it was really more about just focusing on work and giving back to the opportunity that was given to yeah, me yeah. by working as hard as I can. And now that I feel like I have that habit down of working as hard as I can mm -hmm. and it'll always be at that level, I think there's also another side of life which I'd like to focus on, which is what you're talking about. Being grateful. Yeah, and being more, I mean, the social aspect. Being yeah. grateful in the social aspect, not just in the professional aspect. Yes, yes. So I'm actually okay with that. So it's not a problem. Let's go we. And as we head towards the end of this podcast, before we officially close, I would like to remind you that mas pinasarap ng Vitasoy ang kwentuhan natin today. Sa sobrang sarap, magugulat kang it's good for you too. It's a plant-based milk packed with lots of vitamins, low in saturated fat, and a great source of protein. Kaya wow for the body. No doubt, it is truly surprisingly good, and we love the chocolate and cafe latte. 
Let us know in the comments what your favorite flavor is. And with that, thank you so much for joining us. I'm Fofo. And I'm Bone. See you guys next time on Hashtag Behind Relationship Goals.